Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fabric Minecraft server. We're going to also show you how to add fabric mods to it and even link out to how you can port forward to allow your friends to join it. Now, I will say that this is only meant for your friends, family, people you trust. It's not meant for everybody and anybody and it's also going to require you to have a decent computer because modded servers are pretty resource intensive. So you're going to need a decent computer to be able to run a modded server and run Minecraft on it at the same time. Now, if you don't want to port forward, you want to have a public server or you don't think you have a good enough computer to be able to run a server and play modded Minecraft at the same time, that's where Apex Minecraft hosting comes in. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to set up a fabric server in just one click. It's that easy. You set it up and you can easily add mods to it. Apex also has 24-7 support if you have any issues. And on top of all that, you can have a public or private server. It's up to you. In one command, you can make your server private, but if you want to make it public, you can give the IP out to anybody and everybody without any problems. And on top of all that, it's hosted on Apex's hardware, not your hardware meaning Apex has to deal with running a modded server and the hardware required to do that, not you. And Apex strives to have lag-free experiences on every server that is hosted on their platform. So again, you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get things up and running. Nevertheless, let's assume that you don't want a server that is public. You want a server that is just for your close friends and family. And on top of that, you have a decent computer to be able to run that server. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and it's going to take you here. This is actually how to download and install the Fabric Mod Loader locally if you're installing like mods for single player. And you might be like, why are you here? Because every single one of your friends, and this is even if it's an Apex server, needs to install Fabric locally as well as install the mods that you're on your server locally as well. So this guide right here is great for them. So go ahead and send that to your friends. Say, hey, go ahead and install Fabric while I'm setting up this server. After that though, you need to be here if you're setting up the server as well because we need to click on this download fabric button. That's then going to take you to the fabric download page where you want to click on the download installer button. Universal jar, by the way, the universal jar installer. That is important for a server. It's then going to try to download the bottom left on Google Chrome. It's 100% safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in the center of your screen. Now, if we minimize our browser, we need to go ahead and find the file we just downloaded. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. We we'll click on that little Windows icon in the top bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, and in here you'll find the fabric installer. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and right click on the fabric installer. And by the way, if this logo is different. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Go ahead and right click on the fabric installer though. Click on open with. And if you have Java, click on it and click OK. But if you don't have Java, you need to come here and download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. Go through this tutorial, get Java set up. It's a simple three step tutorial, and then you should be able to open up Fabric. If you can't, though, you just need to run the jar fix. That's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. But before you can run this, you need Java first. Now, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And again, that was right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the Fabric installer right like so, where we want to make sure client selected and click install. Also make sure the version you want selected. This should work with 1.18 without any problems, but we want to go ahead and make 1.17 selected there, whatever version you want selected, then click install. You then need to select whether you have the Microsoft Store Launcher or the standalone launcher. We have the Microsoft Store Launcher. And then as you can see, there we go, successfully installed, click OK. Now, go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer. And on our desktop, we want to right click and create a new folder. You can tell this whatever you want. I'm going to tell it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible Minecraft 1.17, soon to be 1.18, grief protected survival and skyblock server. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. Now we want to go ahead and open up this Fabric installer again, right? So we want to right click on it, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. This time though, we want to click on server. Then we want to again, make sure the version we want is selected. And then we want to click right next to select install location here. We want to make sure we click these three dots. I cannot stress enough. This is vitally important, extraordinarily important. Click these three dots here. When you click on those three dots, it's going to open up this where you want to click on desktop and then you want to find the folder you created for your fabric server. Mine's called playdarkbreakdowncraft.com. As I just said, yours could be called fabric server, whatever it is, select this on your desktop and then click open. It should have kind of the file name right here. As you can see, mine cuts off at breakdowncraft.com right there. Then click install. So I'm going to go through, install all this stuff for a fabric server, but it's going to come up and say successfully installed. But then you need to click this download server jar button as well. So make sure you click download server jar. And then this should be green. It should say Val 117 jar installed or 118 or whatever version it is. And there you go. Now, before you close out of this, we want to go ahead and copy this as well. So go ahead and select all of this and then go ahead and hit control 
C on your keyboard. So you want to select all this and then control C on your keyboard to copy it. This code is also in the description. It should be the same for you as the one that's in the description, but if you copy it from here, it's guaranteed to be correct. Now go ahead and click done. It's going to close out of that. And then we can close out of the fabric installer. We can also delete the fabric installer from our desktop because now we had this folder that if we open it up has all of our server basically information in it. Now what we want to do is right click and create a new text document. Then we want to go ahead and open up the new text document, right like so in Notepad, and then paste that code that we found or got from the Fabric installer right here. Now, for you, you might need to go to the description if for whatever reason you didn't copy it, didn't copy it correctly, whatever, that's fine. There is one in the description and it should work, but just in case it doesn't, the one that it gives you in the launcher is 100% guaranteed to work, or the installer is 100% guaranteed to work. So there you have that. Now let's go ahead and do File, Save As on this new text document. Now we want to name this file Run dot bat run dot bat and then save type as needs to be all files so run dot bat save type as all files click save and there we go now we have this new run dot bat file or it should be a run windows batch file and we can delete the text document we don't need that now go ahead and double click on run dot bat and it's going to go ahead and start the server it's going to take it a minute but it's going to eventually fail why is it going to fail? Because you need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. So let's go ahead, let it start on up. It's generating files. You can see we've got our mods folder, our logs and all that stuff. And then it just kind of closed, right? It failed, right? Yours may come up and actually say that it failed or it might do what mine just did, which is just completely close out. Either way, you should have an EULA.txt file that you can go ahead and open up with Notepad, right like so. You then want to go to the EULA here and if you agree to it, which we do, we want to change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Then go file, save, right like so. And there you go. You've now agreed to the Minecraft EULA. Now let's go ahead, double click on the run.bat file again. And this time the server will start right on up with out any issues, right? I mean, as you can see, we are firing on all cylinders. Server is starting up. Now, at this point, you can join your server using local host, and that's how we will be joining our server in this video. But if you want your friends to join, you will need to port forward, and they'll need to join via your public IP address. I'm gonna go ahead, let the server get started, and then I'll show you exactly what I mean. So there you go, as you can see, done, the server is started. We can go ahead and open up, as you can see here, this tutorial that's in the description. This is how to port forward for a Minecraft server. It doesn't matter if it's modded or not. This is how to port forward for any Minecraft server. And uh, basically you wanna go through, you wanna port forward, port 25565. This tutorial here has all sorts of resources in the description on port forwarding. As you can see how to find your router's password, more port forward help. So if you have a specific router, wanna know how to port forward on that specific router, that's what that link can do for you. And it shows you how to get your public IP address. Your friends will join via your public IP. You will join via local host. So that's what you need to know there. This is required to allow your friends to join, but because I don't want this tutorial to be 30 minutes long, I'm going ahead and linking out to this video here, which is going to be a lot more in depth than what I could go in this one and still keep it, like I said, under 30 minutes. So nevertheless, this link is in the description down below. Go there and get that set up. At this point though, your server is ready to have some mods installed on it. So if you're seeing this, you're seeing done over here, your server started, right? You're good to go. You can go ahead and stop it. Let's go ahead and install some mods on this server. By the way, when stopping a server, always type stop in the console stop and hit enter and it will close out of the server to install mods it's pretty easy you just want to add them to the mods folder but you also need to add them locally to your mods folder as well so let's go ahead download a few mods to do this now all the mods here are going to work on the server and are in the description down below this one's going to be the easiest to basically install if they, we do have a dedicated tutorial on their website they will be linked down below and once you're there just click on the download button the important thing is making sure that you are downloading the fabric version as you can see for fabric of these mods some will just have a fabric version some will have both for example, the Fabric API will just have a Fabric version, whereas, you know, the XRL's Minimap mod had both. And then Mouse Tweaks just has a Fabric version, actually, for 1.17. It's a very, very new, it used to be Forge, and now it's Fabric. I wonder why that change happened. I don't know, but we can go ahead and click Download there. And now all of these are downloading. Well, we need to keep them all on Google Chrome, or most likely save them on Mozilla Firefox. There we go. We can go grab these from our downloads folder really fast and drag them to our desktop. I can show you exactly what I mean by saying you need to install them on your server and locally. So here we are, we're in our main server directory right here and we have this mods folder. Go ahead and open that up. Then you wanna go ahead and select these on your desktop, like highlight all of the mods you wanna install on the server, right click on them, click copy, right click and click paste in the mods folder over here. So now when you go to the mods folder in your server, any mods that you want installed on your server and be playable on your server are in your mods folder. 
Now we need to go ahead and press the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, and then type run. Open up the run app, and then in here we want to type in percent app data percent and hit enter. So percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter, and that's going to open up our roaming folder. Then we want to open up dot Minecraft, and then we want to find our mods folder right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag those out, and now all we want to do is drag and drop the mods from our desktop into our mods folder. These should be the exact same mods to the version that you have installed on your server. If you don't have the exact same mods, they will not work. So just keep that in mind. So nevertheless, as you can see here, we do have all these. I do notice that this is the 1.8 version or 1.18 version, excuse me, of the Fabric API. So that might've been a, a little mistake that I made there and it was. I went with the 1.18 version instead of the 1.17 version. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the correct version here, get that switched out, not a big deal, but that's something that you have to look at, make sure that those versions are correct or our server wouldn't have worked. And that's what it would have done, by the way. It just would not have done anything. It would not have worked. And uh, that can be especially frustrating to troubleshoot. So yeah, glad we caught that there. Just get that deleted. And we need to install this both locally. So this is in our .minecraft folder here and our mods folder. And then we also, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna have to go back there to get that. <laughs> I gotta go get that, uh, get that mod there. So let's go here and grab this. We will copy the Fabric API and paste it on our desktop. So it's still in our mods folder. And now we need to go over here to our server mods folder and add it there as well. See how difficult this could be? And guess what? Every single one of your friends needs to install every single mod. Every single mod that's in your server's mod folder needs to be installed locally on your friend's mods folder. Anyone who plays on your server needs to have these mods installed. That's where creating a mod pack or something like that can be very helpful for a modded server because it's easier to have other people install those mods. At this point though, we can go ahead and double click the run.bat file, get the server started up. We can also open up the Minecraft launcher. And we want to make sure that we are launching Fabric here. We want to make sure we're launching the Fabric profile, the Fabric installation. If we don't launch that installation, it's not going to work. 99.9% .9 of the time, it will open up, by the way, or it will automatically be in your Minecraft launcher. If it isn't, we have a dedicated video on how to install the Fabric installer and basically install Fabric in Minecraft. And that video is where you'll be able to get that information. But if we see here, we do have Fabric. I do want to change the resolution on the Fabric profile, though just so we can see better once we get in game. Look at that, it's already done. All right, so now we can go ahead and click play on Fabric. As you can see, our server has started up. I'm gonna rearrange these windows, get Minecraft open, and we'll join this server. So here we are, we have Minecraft 1.17 open, as you can see, with Fabric installed in the bottom left there. You can kind of see that. We have both of our servers over here. Technically, you only need one of those. These are an exact mirror. So what you see here is what you will see on this side of the console. That's why I kind of like to uh, just kind of ignore that. I'll use this to see what's happening in the console. And this is a good way to kind of manage or, and like look at how much, you know, server performance and RAM you're using. As you can see, you're using quite a bit here. And that's something to keep in mind with modded servers. They use so much RAM. I've got it, I've got 64 gigs of RAM, but yeah, it's something to keep in mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and launch on into our server. To do that, you're gonna click on multiplayer, and then you're gonna go ahead and click direct connection, and then you're gonna type this right here, local host. So just local host, right like so. When you hit enter, you're gonna join straight on into your server on the left-hand side, as you can see. You're the only person who can join your friend that, or join your server that way. Your friends will join off of your public IP address, and that's outlined in depth in our port forwarding guide. But as we can see, up here on the top left, we do have minimap, specifically Xero's minimap installed, looking good. Unfortunately, there's no real way to see the Fabric API installed and in action, or even mouse tweaks are very, very hard to show uh, in, in a video like this. So I do apologize, but those are installed as well. Um, if you actually come back here, you'll be able to see that they are in installing, you know, the, through all of this, you'll be able to see somewhere through all there that those are installing. So that is that is how you can see that. But overall, we can see the mini maps installed and that's how you install mods. You need to make sure they're both locally on your computer and on the Fabric server as well, and then they'll work. Nevertheless though, if you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We also have resources in the comment section down below on how to th fix things like issues with Windows Defender. So let's say you port forward and your friends still can't join your server. That's probably gonna be because Windows Defender is the issue and that's in the description. We also have a link on how to fix broken Minecraft servers. There are so many Many different things that can go wrong with Minecraft servers. And we have an in-depth guide that's almost 30 minutes long on all the different things that we see all the time and how to fix all of those. So go through all of those if you do have any issues and you'll be a pro by the time you're done. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.